so this tomato plant is looking pretty nice I actually like I don't remember what kind of tomato it is I don't it looks like it might end up being on the smaller side but it's got some little flowers here and hopefully they'll turn into tomatoes I don't know we'll see I'll probably end up having to add some support and I've got a pepper here that's been getting chewed up probably by caterpillars maybe snails so I'm gonna have to deal with that and then this little bok choy down here it's doing pretty good it's been getting chewed up too but yeah these are looking nice I like um, I like these containers it's just a Rubbermaid container so that's probably what I'm gonna be going with I was gonna do several of them this year and make like a stand for them and stuff I just I didn't get around to it I didn't plant much at all this year um, we've got another round of blossoms on the Meyer lemon these are gonna smell great when they open up and I can't wait um, it just kind of smells like like flower like a jasmine flower maybe and I just I love it I love coming out here and and smelling that we had it inside for a while but it just it keeps getting bigger and it wasn't getting enough light um, and it, it smelled great inside too of course it made a mess when all the like, pistols or whatever fell out um, but yeah oh here's one that's open so yeah, just a little garden tour I've got some uh, some okra going this hydroponic okra is doing phenomenal it's growing quickly um, some of the other okras there's one I planted with the basil over there that's that's little this one in the ground is doing okay it probably needs some more nutrients I think these don't get as much light either I don't know if, if this tomato is gonna put out anymore it's getting some flowers but like these just like kind of died so it is cooler now though so maybe maybe I can get another round of tomatoes but we'll see I'm actually um, I think I'm gonna start some uh, maybe like Tiny Tim's or something. They're they're not my favorite. I don't know what this is. This is just a vine that grew. The Tiny Tim's aren't my favorite. I like the Sun Gold better, but the Tiny Tim's did grow well last year. So hopefully, um, maybe I can get some of those started before it gets too cold, or maybe I'll start some and put them inside. I don't know. Um, this thing is doing okay too. Um, I forget what this is. <laughs> I, I had tags for them, but I don't know. The birds the birds steal the tags. So I don't know. Sometimes oh here is this it? So okay, so I think this one is actually a Dixie Gold. I started sticking them right here, like down by the side of the bed, so the birds don't like see them and steal them. They like play with them or whatever, I don't know. Um, but so this might be a Dixie Gold. And if that's true, I really hope I get some uh, tomatoes out of here because I was excited to try those. And this one, I don't know what this one is. Blurry. Blurry, that's what it is. Um, this is a pepper. I've gotten a, a couple bell peppers off of here. I don't remember really what color bell pepper is. It might be purple or orange I don't know it's a bell pepper but it's in this container I think I'm gonna try to put it in a bucket because it keeps it's so thirsty like it's always thirsty I don't know it's weird um, we keep getting these wasps you see that I don't know where these guys are coming from these little red wasps they're all over Oops. I don't like the red ones and this one I don't know what this one is but this is a problem. You got some like aphids or something. Actually, I don't know what that is, but it looks like he's trying to eat my tomato. So I'm gonna have to deal with that this evening. I'm gonna come out here and spray some neem oil or something on it. Um, so that's a tiny little tomato. It's gonna be too small to eat. That's probably actually ready to come off of that right now, but it's just, but it's just, it's tiny so this isn't producing super great but I think just probably because of the heat and another pepper 
um, those sunflowers that just sprouted up on their own. I leave them there because the pollinators like them. It's almost noon now, so there's not really any pollinators out here right now, but if I would have been out here earlier in the morning or if I come out here this evening, um, and I've got a couple videos, I need to turn into reels or something, um, but they, they really like these sunflowers, so I just, I let them stay up, and they got a little wild, but that's okay because the pollinators are important for the garden. I don't know what this is, honestly. I think it might be like an eggplant. I didn't plant this. <laughs> I don't I don't know if it's like leftover from last year. Like maybe one of the eggplants fell down in here or like a bird dropped a seed somewhere or like, I don't even know, but I'm just gonna let it grow and see what happens. Cause this tomato plant died. I'm gonna pull that up at some point. And then this one got eaten alive, I guess by like a tomato hornworm or something or a caterpillar, so. I have to spray some of the uh, thuricide, some more. I sprayed some. It takes care of the caterpillars. Um, but it's it's got a flower if it'll turn into a tomato. Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, fingers crossed, give me tomatoes, guys. Cause they come, there's like a bunch of caterpillars and stuff up in this tree. It's a, a big old like live oak tree and it blocks like so much light from my garden and I don't like it, but it's so high that I just, I cannot trim it. And I would have to like hire a professional service if I wanted to trim and stuff. It's just, it's huge. It's, it's like three stories tall or something, I bet. Um, this is, I don't know, this is ground cover, which like it's growing here. So I'm just gonna leave it because it shades the ground and like helps keep a lot of like the crabgrass and stuff from being here, I guess, because it's shaded and other weeds. Because I have a couple tomatoes growing here. This spot doesn't get a whole lot of light. So, um, they're not very big, but I mean, you know, they're here. I, I hope next season, well, I'll do, I'll, I think probably what I need to be thinking about right now is the winter season, like maybe some kale or whatever, um, some lettuces. I can grow those over the winter. I don't know what kind of winter it's gonna be, if it's gonna be super cold. It's usually not super cold here, but then, you know, we had that one year and two weeks without power, that was fun. Anyway, um, I'd love to get some more peppers on here, but they're just not, just not producing this year. I had one, a, a tan jalapeno last year and it produced really well, but I didn't like the tan jalapenos because they were smaller <clears throat> which meant they were just they were harder to cut up and get the seeds out and they were super hot so I didn't want to leave the seeds in so I didn't plant one maybe I should have um, I, I planted or I started some uh, some other ones like I think this is a lily some other ones from like New Mex varieties I forget exactly which ones but they I think they all died or something, or they just didn't produce, I don't know. That's a fig tree. Uh, this is a cutting off of that Meyer lemon. I, I had to trim it and I stuck the part I trimmed off into the ground and it started growing. So that was pretty cool. I don't know what this is. I, it's too, too big for this pot, I'll tell you that. But I think it's another like eggplant maybe. But we'll see. So anyway, that's what's going on with the garden right now. This basil that needs to be trimmed. It's getting, these flowers have to come off of here so it doesn't like bolt and stuff. So it's getting kind of woody already. So I'm gonna have to trim that off with some <coughs> scissors or something. But this is that other okra, it's kind of in the shade I guess of this one and I don't think this area gets a whole lot of light but I I didn't really know where else to put it so I'm just kind of experiment and stuff and see what works and what doesn't so anyway <coughs> nice talking with you so I don't know I'll see you later give you another tool later and, and see what's going on <laughs>